So today we are going to start with lesson one of Kwame Sound. In the story, does anyone remember who the main character is? Kwame. Kwame, yes. And he had something, a special characteristic. Does anyone remember his special characteristic? Do you remember? He was blind. He was blind. He was. Does anyone know any blind, someone that may, may not be able to see so well? My dad. Your dad? Okay, so when your dad, does he wear glasses? Yes, yeah, he glasses a lot. It's Great, and that, that's a tool to help him. So also, when we were reading the story, we read that the place in the story that we were talking about was where? Does anyone remember where the place of our story? Lily? Africa. Africa, and there is one specific spot in Africa that we were talking about. It's a specific place. Do you remember? It starts with a G. It does start with a G. You're right. I want to say Guatemala, but no. It is Ghana. Someone tell me some of the things that we know about Africa. Marcos? Um, it has a, water, a lot of wildlife. It does have a lot of wildlife. You're absolutely right. And what kind of wildlife are we studying when we're reading the story? The elephants. And why are we studying the elephants when it comes to this story that we're reading? They're using, they're using the elephant sounds to help Kwame like figure out the beat for the drum festival. I love it. So we had learned that there was something that's real, it really exists, that really happens right now where scientists are studying how the elephants are making their sound so they know where the elephants are located, they know how many elephants there are. So scientists really study the nature of how things are in the world around us. But then we have engineers. Who can tell me what engineers do? Engineers, they design things and the design and the design process. Marcos? Engineers create. They do create. It doesn't matter which engineer it is, it doesn't matter which one it is because they all use the design process. Love it. So key points of what I've just heard is engineers help people, they make lives better, and they create things. Now on to chapter five. Testing the design. Kofi was playing Kwame's rhythm. Kwame beamed with satisfaction. His father and Professor Payne had been right. All he needed to do was engineer a solution that was his knowledge of sound and a lot of creativity. Soon it was time to drum. Kwame and Kofi sat next to each other and began to play. Thwack, boom, boom, ma, da, da. Thwack, boom, boom, ma, da, da. Kwame felt his drumming in his hands, in his ears, and in his heart end of our story. So as you can see, they were able to practice something even though they were not in the same area and come together and play at the drumming festival because they had engineered a way to bring the sound and the rhythm together so they knew what to do at the same time. So today we are going to look at sheets that we have on your desk. Everyone will have one sheet which has vocabulary definition. So everyone take one packet and fill in what definition word you think fits each line best. Yes? Can we work with our team? You can work with your team, absolutely. Your team can come up with the answers, but everyone will individually have a sheet that they are writing in. So I'll give you about three or five minutes to go ahead and see if you can fill in the answers. You can talk with your teammates. A common food in Ghana. Wait, is it Ghana? Yeah. Ghana. Made with plantains and yams. That's foo foo. Mm -hmm. yeah, what what does this word Spectrogram? No, can we represent? Yeah. Yeah. Represent. Yeah. Represent. Yeah. All right, my friends, if you can hear my voice, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go over all of this together. 
So who wants to raise their hand and tell me, number one, what you would have filled in for the field of engineering concerned with solving problems related to sound? Lily? Acoustical engineering. Acoustical engineering is the field of engineering concerned with solving problems related to sound. And the last one, we're going to use the word anything system or process that people create and use to solve problems. Technology. technology. Awesome. Who wants to expand a little bit on technology? What do we know about technology? Technology is stuff that's useful, man-made, and like stuff like globes or our technology, scissors are technology, pencils are technology. And we don't have to plug those in, turn them on, or have batteries to make them work, do we? Awesome. We're going to move on. And the last part of lesson one will be this next sheet that we have, which is Kiwami and the engineering design process. And then the top one would be ask. Well, that was pretty easy. Who can tell me the steps in order of the design, the engineering design process? Ask. Imagine, plan, create, improve. Perfect. So in the asking stage, the very first stage of the engineering design process, what does asking look like? What, what is that? Um, you can ask questions about it so you can understand it more. And then when we move on to the imagine, what are we doing in the imagining process? Just think of things that really that you just think of. Yeah. And then when we move on to that plan stage, what are we really doing in the plan stage? You're um, like making up what your design is going to look like. So if you were like making a design um, for a car, first you'd like think it in your head and then you'd write it down. So the plan part is which part of that? The, the um, I can't say it. The writing it down part of it? And then we move on to the actual create. And what does that look like when we are creating, Amy? You're like making it, like you're using your plan list to build it. I love it. And then when we go on to the improve, what does the improve look like? Make, like, make things that maybe you did wrong. And maybe you can make it different. Love it. So. On this sheet, when we're filling in these answers, we are using all of those words, but in a different order when we're answering it up here. And the fifth one, thinking about using beads, strings, and paper to represent Kiwami's rhythm as part of the, tell me. It, he was imagining. He was imagining. That is great. So all of these papers we're going to tuck away because that is the end of lesson one. Good job, guys. I'm Susan DeAngelis. I teach at the Village School in Naples, Florida, and I am an elementary school teacher. The story part of all of, their, all of the units of the EIE are very valuable because it's a way to tie back in to everything that they do. And so the fact that with the sound unit that they learned about a real world elephant listening project and they were fascinated that that really does exist. And tying that back into the fact that there are real acoustical engineers that are out there and there really are scientists that need this data. Um, it's just something that they really hold on to so that when they are doing their own projects of planning and creating, they really fit that mold of, oh yeah, I am this acoustical engineer and yes, I'm really doing something.